Hi, this is Russell Tammany for Before You Buy. Today I'll be reviewing the Buffalo WZR D1800H router and their WLI H4 D1300 access point. First I'll start with the router. So this router supports the new 802.11ac standard, which is up to 1300 megabit. It has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz radios, so it can do simultaneous dual band. This means that it can support your old wireless B devices to wireless G to wireless N and the newest AC standard, which is not available in most laptops or really anything yet, uh, which is also why we'll be testing their wireless bridge. Uh, one of the things about this router is that it was extremely easy to set up. Uh, I took it home and it has a little card in the bottom of it. On the card in the bottom of it, it, ha it already has pre-programmed in the wireless SSID or what the name of the network is, as well as the security key for it. You can simply take it home, plug it into your internet, connect to it via Wi-Fi, or connect to it via a wired connection, and it's already working and it's already secure. Now, one of the things you're most concerned about with, with this type of router is, is it really fast enough for my internet connection? Now, this is the fastest standard, 802.11ac, and in my tests, it's much faster than wireless G and B and N, but it's not really that much faster than a good dual band wireless N router. So uh, if you have a fast internet connection, uh, I have a 50 megabit internet connection, and this was able to handle it over wireless just fine. So this router also has a USB port in the back. The USB port can be used to share a hard drive or a USB thumb drive with other devices on your network, and it even has a web page interface where you can share it remotely, so you can access the files and media on it remotely. There is a limitation, though, in that it does not support any other file systems than FAT and uh, XFS. So another thing that's very important with a wireless router is your range. Now, the range in this wireless router is very good. It's not really that much farther range than my wireless N routers. However, it's just a little bit extra, which is nice to have. This router is extremely fast. It's the fastest router that I've tested so far. And even though there's no laptops or uh, desktops and other devices that really support the 802.11ac standard, that's why we have Buffalo's WLI H4 D1300 wireless bridge. What a bridge allows you to do is join your wireless network, and then it will give you wired connections to attach to devices that don't have Wi-Fi. So this could be great for connecting desktop computers in another room, uh, DVD players, Xbox, things like that that just don't have Wi-Fi in them uh, that you still want to put on the network. So the pros for the Buffalo WZR D1800H are that it's very easy to set up. Uh, it's very fast, and it has good range, and uh, the simultaneous dual band gives you backwards compatibility. So you can replace your current router without worrying about any compatibility issues with older devices. Uh, the cons are that it's a little expensive. Uh, it's $179.99 on Amazon. And um, the interface is really not the best if you have to get into the settings. And the USB port sharing and UPnP media features really don't work that well. Aside from that, I'm going to give the Buffalo WZR D1800H a buy. Now, their wireless uh, bridge, which is the WLI H4 D1300, also would get a buy. Uh, there's really nothing else that you can buy right now that's going to connect at this high 1300 megabit speed. So if you want to replace a wired cable in your house with a wireless system, this is a great system to link them up and get rid of the wire that you may have run along the ground or on the wall. This has been Russell Tammany for Before You Buy, reviewing the new Buffalo 802.11ac wireless router and their 802.11ac bridge.